Hey guys, so a lot of people have been having problems about this boot manager's missing press control alt and delete to restart dilemma. And I found a temporary solution after trial and error to fix this problem. I, I say temporary solution because every time you start your computer up, you're going to have to use this method to boot your computer. Which personally, I don't mind because it wards off unwanted household intruders from snooping through my computer. In any case, enough jibber jabber, let's get right down to it. So, you have three options to boot your computer from. You can boot your computer from a USB drive or a CD-ROM drive. You can boot it from, um, you can boot it via LAN, or you can just boot it using your hard drive, your internal hard drive, which is what I'm going to do. In any case, uh, I strongly suggest that you remove any external USB devices because that might be causing the problem. In any case, uh, I want to go right ahead and press Control Alt and Delete, and it will probably take me back to the press Control Alt and Delete to restart screen. Let's see what happens. Yeah, just at that thought. Go ahead, press Control Alt and Delete again, and this time, press. F9 for boot menu and don't mind my screen you'll know what I'm talking about in a minute second that's what I mean it's halfway in any case um, you can have some options at hard disk boots I'll just presume you can have option depending on how many drives that you have that's the number of options that you're gonna have I have three drives. I have a bootable USB drive. I have a master drive. I have a secondary drive. I have two internal drives. So I'm going to go ahead and not use my secondary drive, but I'll use my master drive. And that's how you want to boot. Let's see what happens. Yeah, and just as I thought, Windows is starting. Peace, 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 peace. Don't eat polonia and cheese.